For the second time in a week, a child has been hospitalized after popping a pill in class. Now, this latest incident taking place at Futures Academy. The student's going to be okay here, but this raises concerns about the rules and regulations about medications in the classroom. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sarah Johnson here with a closer look tonight. Sierra. Yes, Jeff, the district is looking to spread the word on the dangers of prescription pills after a first grader swallowed a pill given by another student. Now, according to a district spokeswoman, the latest incident happened Wednesday at School 37. The young student was treated at Women and Children's Hospital, where it was later determined that pill was melatonin, a common sleep aid. Now, this latest case comes just weeks after a group of eighth graders were hospitalized after drinking a potentially dangerous mix of painkiller and soda known as lean. In just days after that, several third graders ingested prescription pills they took from a substitute teacher. Again, the student in the latest incident will be okay, but now more than ever, the district is focusing on prevention. We have been the beneficiaries of some good fortune in that in all three instances, the children were not harmed, but we can't continue to rely on good luck to keep our children safe. So we're going to use every avenue of communication to make sure that the next ingestion doesn't happen for a long, long time because the next one could be catastrophic. Dr. Lana says beginning this week, information will be sent to parents by mail and robocalls with information on how to talk to students about staying away from prescription medication. And the district's medical director says it's important that parents have that conversation of the dangers of medication at home. He says as early as children are able to talk, parents need to begin teaching the difference between medication and candy. Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.